back to 3 Pete Sports. I'm Rob. I'm Aldo. I'm Dustin. And today we're going to continue our picks of the NFL Week 1. We're going to go on to the Monday Night Football game, Cincinnati at Baltimore. Aldo, what do you think about this? Well, Monday Night Football, got to love it. And we'll start with Cincinnati-Baltimore. Great, good. It's going to be a great game. Division rivalry, both playoff contending teams. Cincinnati, since obviously Cincinnati went last year under Andy Dalton. Yeah. Was a great, you know, had a great season. And Baltimore, as always, strong under Joe Flacco and Ray Lewis. However, it's in Baltimore. It is... You know, Ray Lewis's house, Joe Flacco's house, Harbaugh, I think Baltimore's going to take this. I'll say 24-17. All right, Dustin? Yeah, I actually agree. I was thinking about Cincy because of how good that offense did last year. They have a pretty underrated defense. I like how they're coming up. They have some strong linebackers. But it's in Baltimore. I think that's the deciding factor. That defense is tenacious. They're going to get after the quarterback. I mean, Ray Lewis and Ed Reed, they're getting old, but they still got it. I'm waiting for Father Tom to, like, take – take his mark on them, and it's not happening. They still come out, put up good numbers, yeah. and uh, when you look at that offense with Ray Rice, who's a top running back, one of the top three in Definitely the NFL. Joe Flacco. Is Joe Flacco, who uh, has, he's, had, he's raised some questions about his overall ability as a quarterback, but I think he'll get it done. Yeah, yeah he has to pick it up. Yeah, post season, his question is postseason. Yeah. Everyone's during the season. In the regular I mean, season, he he's gets a it done. beautiful quarterback. Oh, I mean, he gets the job he, done. He, that always over 500. Oh, I mean, yeah. hasn't been under 500 since he was since a rookie. Came in. Yeah, so, so yeah. I mean, you can tell how much the good, you know, playoffs, playoffs, you know, oh, yeah. everything's different. But a regular season quarterback, Joe Flacco. I picked Joe Flacco. Oh, he's got some good receivers in his arsenal, and he's going to spread the ball around, along with, of course, the threat at the running game. So yeah. I think that their offense will take out the Cincy defense at home. And I say they get this win. Uh, as far as the score prediction, I will go uh, Baltimore. 27, Cincinnati, 17. All right. All right. Yeah. All right Monday night is a double header. Uh, they, they've been doing this for the past couple you know, years. We're doing double headers on Monday night, week one. And you got San Diego at Oakland. Aldo, we'll start with you. Who do you think is going to take this? Monday night football double header. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. San Diego at Oakland. It's going to be, ah, oh God, this game is going to be some, a really hard one to predict just because both teams are, are not going to have a good season this year. Um, but if I had to come down and pick a team, you got Oakland in Oakland. You know, they've been an okay team. Carson Palmer, is, you know, he's kind of... Raiders are all about giving the players second chances. They, that's what they've always been about every year in their existence, and that's one of them three Super Bowls. Yeah. So, I mean, that's their whole model. Carson Palmer's been struggling in Cincy. Let's trade him, bring him over here. Let's try to build him back up. Yeah. San Diego, no Ryan Matthews. The receiving core is completely shot. Phillip Rivers has no weapons at all. So, in Oakland, I'm going to say Oakland. I'll say Oakland 14-10. Okay. Um, I think it's going to be a very close game, but I'm going to disagree, and I'm going to go with San Diego. Uh, I was thinking about this a lot because it's going to be a close game. It's a division rivalry, and these games can always go either way. They're always close. They're always good games to watch. They're always some fun. Uh, but I'm going to go with San Diego because I think Phillip Rivers is uh, the better quarterback in comparison to Carson Palmer. And even though he has a l- lack of weapons, he lost he lost um, Vincent Jackson, he lost Lake Dunane, he uh, has Robert Meacham now, he still has Malcolm Floyd, and he still has Antonio Gates. So he'll yeah. spread the ball around. Watch we'll see how Ronnie Brown does in that running back spot because he's... He's getting up there in age, but um, he's still he's still good. He's had a good career, so we'll have to see. Um, score prediction. As far as my score prediction, I will go similar to you. I'm going to go seventeen Chargers seventeen, uh, Oakland fourteen. All right, that, all right, close games both ways. Yeah. So we'll yeah. see. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Uh, as always, to subscribe, click the football. Click the helmet to watch our previous episode and click the Chargers helmet to watch the episode before that. For 3P Sports, I'm Rob. I'm Aldo. I'm Dustin.